It definitely could have done without this. So if you clicked on this video, it's probably because you like Shelby Cobras. Last time anybody saw anything on this car, it left me stranded. And uh, I really want to see what the problem was. Uh, my gut is telling me that it needs a fuel pump, but my gut is also telling me there's a chance that I think the fuel system lost its prime. Uh, the reason I think that is the fuel pump is about two inches above the fuel tank, and then it's six inches above the supply line going to it. And I think I may have ran it out of fuel for the first time ever, and I don't think the fuel can get back up to the pump. So what I want to try and do is maybe see if I can bleed the air out of the system. That's what my gut is telling me today. Uh, actually, let me just see if this thing starts. Hold on. So yesterday, I got fuel in the tank. And I was kind of tapping on the pump a little bit. And it started sounding like it was pressurizing and then stopped. That's why I think it might have just lost its prime. What I want to do today is maybe crack the line open, start the key, or turn the key to the on position, let the pump run and see if anything comes out. And uh, if nothing comes out, we know the pump is a problem. If something comes out, there's a chance it was the prime and it might just start, or there's a chance that it just might not be building pressure. I don't know just yet, uh, but for right now, I'm just going to uh, try and get it started. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna break this line loose to see if anything comes out. My gut, again, is telling me nothing is gonna come out or maybe just a little bit, but we'll see. Actually sounds like a bunch of air just came out. Oh yeah, this thing definitely lost prime. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the key on for a split second back off again to help get some of the air out, hopefully. All right, there's the fuel. <sighs> this thing may actually start right now. Definitely fuel related. It could be a sensor, but my gut is still telling me that it keeps stalling out because there's not enough fuel pressure. It could potentially still be the fuel priming problem because of where the pump is located, or it could potentially be um, maybe the fuel pressure regulator. I don't quite know just yet. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is throw a fuel pressure gauge on the car and see if we have fuel pressure. That's the easiest thing to do. 
I'm gonna make a little bit of a mess, but I think I have a fuel pressure gauge floating around, so I'm gonna set up for that now. Uh. All right, it looks like we only have about 10 pounds of pressure. So we only had about 10 pounds of pressure. Now I don't know if the fuel pressure regulator is the problem, but considering the car is off and the pressure so low, uh, the regulator should be at its highest point or if the fuel pump is not producing fuel pressure. What I'm gonna do now is take a mental note of where it is. I'm gonna jack the pressure up and see if the car runs. And if it does, uh, maybe it was the fuel pressure regulator that's the problem, or the pump is not producing the amount of liters per hour that it's supposed to, which again could also be because of where it's located. So I'll have a future video of me getting this thing up on the lift, but for right now, I at least want to get this thing started so I can move it because it's kind of in the way. So this regulator has an adjustment knob on top. I have to go get a wrench. Now there is a small chance that this thing could still be low on fuel. I put about four gallons in it yesterday. And I'm not really sure if that's enough to give me this problem, but it could be, I don't know yet. I at least want to cover my bases. Now it just shot up. Okay, so the car ran better with more fuel pressure, so it's definitely, definitely something's up with the regulator, but I don't think it's the regulator's fault. I think it's the pressure coming in. Okay, so by adjusting the fuel pressure regulator, I shot the fuel pressure up to about 30 PSI. I think the car needs about 30 to 40 PSI to run a 4.6 liter. And it ran a lot better, and I got a little bit of throttle. The reason it was still cutting out is I think the pressure coming into the regulator is not high enough to keep the engine running under a load. Uh, but at least it's enough for me to tool the car around and I can get it out of the way. Um, what's happening now is I was able to figure out that basically I'm confirming what I think is wrong. It's the pressure coming into the regulator. I put four gallons in the car yesterday. There might not be enough fuel in the tank Basically, if there's more fuel in the tank, the pressure of gravity of the fuel adds pressure to the line. So if your fuel level is low, there's less pressure in the line. What I think is happening is it can't get up to the pump. I may have to move the pump. The problem is the fuel tank hangs below the axle area and the frame. And in order to go over the axle, I have to be on the frame, which in my mind shouldn't be a problem because most intake fuel pumps have to send the fuel up but i guess maybe because the the pump is within the fuel and the lowest point of the tank maybe that's why i don't know oh i also have a fuel pickup in the tank i do have a fuel pickup in the tank that makes its way all the way to the back of the tank so again maybe there's just not enough fuel i don't know um i might even pull the fuel sender out in this video to look down inside the tank to confirm what's going on so uh, let me do that. Let me pull the fuel sender out. I, I can get to it through the trunk. Okay. 
So I want to let everybody know, I have not finished this car. This car is not painted. This body is gel coat. I just put it together and I drove it four times. And making this video yesterday was no, time number five. So stuff's not finished. So the wiring back here is not done yet. I haven't finished making panels. I haven't shortened the wires. I'm still in my test phase to make sure this is a drivable car. So when you see stuff back here, please don't attack me online over my wiring because it's not finished. That being said, I did pull the sending unit out and there's actually a ton of fuel in there. It's, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but uh, the fuel tank is pretty much almost full. I still have to, I basically need to shorten these wires about three feet and go from here to here. And then I want to build a panel to hide everything. But for right now, this is how I have everything. In case you're wondering why I have all the wires like this still, if I come up with any problems along the way, all of the wires have wording on them and they tell me what each circuit is. So if I have a problem, I can come right to the wire and read the circuit. But if I cut them down so short, I may have to deal with stuff where they're behind each other and I didn't want to have to deal with that, especially if I have to rewire something, I can maybe cut it and probe it, check it out, put the wire back together. I, I want the extra slack until I'm 100% sure this car is going to run and drive fine. So considering my fuel tank is pretty much, I'd say three quarters of the way full, I'm fairly certain I have a fuel pump problem. Uh, so at least we've narrowed it down. It's going to need either a new fuel pump or a supply to the fuel pump. So that's my next problem I need to figure out. Uh, so next time I work on this car, I'm probably just gonna go buy a fuel pump anyway. I'd rather just put a brand new one in, something that can be set up above uh, the frame. So as it sits right now, um, next time I do the next video, you guys are gonna see what I'm doing to fix the problem. At least right now I'm just diagnosing, so. Uh, thanks again, everybody. Uh, you know, one thing I like to do in my videos is I like to go over garage updates. Um, if you're new here, uh, just know that when I post videos on the Cobra, it's not gonna be the next time I post. I have a car collection and my channel is about my budget car collection and figuring out ways to fix things, figuring out different uh, things to do on different cars. I have different builds. I'm doing a wide body on my Corvette. I have another 4.6 behind me that's going into a 65 Mustang. Uh, you know, you might have seen a video where I did an exhaust on my motorcycle. I'm putting a V8 into a Miata. I have a lot of cool stuff coming. So if you're waiting for more Shelby Cobra videos, it doesn't mean I gave up on the car. It just means I haven't finished editing them and they're going to be on my channel in the future. So just sit tight. I'll get them up. I like to have variety in my channel and I, I like to let everybody know, especially if you're a new subscriber, what's going on so you guys can give me time to edit this stuff because I don't want to just put crap on my channel. I want to put nice stuff on my channel. So... All right, so I'm gonna get this thing buttoned up and then uh, next time you see it in the next video that I put out on the Cobra, you'll see what I do to fix the problem and I'll, and I'll show you guys more of the car as well. Ironically, the video I was filming yesterday was going to be the introduction of this car, but hey, you know what? What a way to show you the car. It's a project and it's giving me project car problems. So, all right, thanks again, everybody. Have a very nice day.